Hey guys, what's up everybody? I'm Mark here and welcome back to another video. And also guys, happy 2021 because last year was atrocious for everybody, but for me personally, it's been a great year and I think even this year will be even a better personal year. Okay, so this is a two-part series about this whole allegations and drama about the YouTuber Carmi Carson. And don't get me wrong, guys, I am not a fan of Carmi Carson. I just kind of kind of got recommended by the YouTube algorithm. I kind of checked in on it, did some research, and I thought I'd give my opinions for two different sides of this whole situation. Alrighty, so by reading this tile, you probably think I'm just going to blindly fanboy this YouTuber. And no, I am not going to do that. I just need to get your guys' attention to watch. So, yeah. So, about a couple years ago, Carson was messaging a fan on YouTube that was probably considered underage. And I understand. But, here's the funny thing. Uh, Carson was 19 and she was 17 and I guess she comes out and claims that he was like being the super manipulator he groomed her and all that but <laughs> oh man uh, groomed manipulation uh, to your age difference uh, I don't know if I could consider that manipulation but I guess we'll read what it says but <laughs> this sounds extremely silly to me but fuck it let's we're, we're gonna read this and see what we'll see what I, what I think Okay, so this girl's name is Sam apparently on Twitter and she goes by the username Mini Borb. So what it says, it says, um, she says, I can co personally come out and says, I've been groomed by Carson. I have talked to many people who have never came out about this since now. At the time, I was 17 and in high school. All right, so when you read that tweet, you're like, oh shit, like this could be really bad. Like when you're reading this, she's making it sound like that she's like, she was like uh, 17 and this guy like was way older. But when you really look into the situation, <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Okay, so Sam says that she uh, was jokingly tweeting at Carson saying, be my boyfriend, because you know you get it. A lot of fangirls and children, they kind of like the fangirl over their idols. And they're like, be my boyfriend. Oh my God, you're so cute. Yeah, I get that. And of course, I guess he didn't reply to the tweet, but he went straight to the DMs. I don't have old, he goes, I don't have the old DMs, but I have Discord messages. Okay, so what from this so far, apparently, so she uh, just t made a jokingly tweet and he went straight for the DMs. But here's one thing I will ask. Yes, it was probably not the r greatest thing to do for to go straight to the DMs like that. But then again, they're only two years apart and it's like, it's not even the age gap. I get it. It's more of like a fucking adult and minor situation but like it's um, uh, it's ridiculous um here okay here's what i'm gonna say so far in the first tweet uh, i've noticed that she conveniently leaves out that he was 19 years old i had to do the research and see how old he was and yeah he was 19 and that right there is not that's not a good sign like usually when there's a big youtuber like carson yeah i get it because she was a child but if you if you really think about it, why would she come out now? Like literally, she's on her bio it says she's 18, but now she's 19 and Carson be 21. Like, huh? Uh, like literally, it does. <laughs> oh man, this is just it does. It's not looking good so far. Well, all right, all right. I guess I'll keep an open mind. We'll just keep reading what it says and see what he has to say. So apparently, the few things he Carson's told this girl, he goes, "I am scared. Of, I want to talk to you for the wrong reasons." <laughs> Elaborate. Well, what if I only want to talk to you for the sexual part of it? I don't want that, but like, I'm worried about it. But what if I subconsciously only talk to you because it turns me on or something? Well, I will say this. It is a little creepy to say, say that this, to anyone. It doesn't matter the age on this or if it's a child or whatever. This in general, obviously, oh man, this dude, uh... He can't like, it sounds like he's socially awkward in this, but let's keep going. And it says, uh, is that what you really want? She goes, what other options are there? Also, what would you want to happen? I don't know. Like, all I know is every time I jack off now, I have a really hard time not thinking of you. I guess my brain got sandwiched and now it wants, mo wants more, you know? Sorry I was in school, but yeah, I get that. Like, okay, so she's aware that he's done this. 
And yes, I get it. It's awkward. And honestly, I would never tell a girl this, but if, if this take out the, okay, take out she was 17 in high school. Like, obviously, this is kind of very socially awkward and it's, it ain't gonna lie. It is creepy. It's not like, it's not necessarily pedophilia with this age gap, but it is creepy. And yes, but <laughs> it does sound kind of funny. Like, there's gotta be some context, like a voice or something behind this because we don't, I don't, I don't really know how exactly how you would talk to people one on one or as a person, but it's funny. To me, it's just funny just the way he's just saying stuff. It just reminds me of an awkward person. Like, rarely awkward, but honest. And, yeah. Now he says, uh, what if reread on Snap? And next time you're horny, we'll have, we'll have some fun again. <laughs> I just don't want that to be the only thing we do, you know? Yeah, but F Sam, you're hard to resist. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> uh, so are you. I feel like this is all my fault. Damn. If anything, it's my fault because I can't control myself. To me, like, when people say that when the people come out, like a girl comes out with something like this, you figured, like, you figured, like, the girl would be, like, would block the dude immediately and go straight to Twitter or something. Or, yeah, just expose him right then and there. Or even uh, meet up with him, have a camera out, like those Predator channels. But, <laughs> obviously, she doesn't do that. And, um, so far, I... <laughs> To me, it sounds like a really awkward teen just being awkward and being kind of a teenager. And, I mean, 19 is still considered a teenager. And she's 17 and she's a teenager. And it's just... <laughs> oh, man. Why would you have to take this to Twitter if this was such a big, like, deal? Okay, the next conversation says, Effing hell. I want to, but it's a bad idea. I'm not going to lie. I'm scared of getting your hopes up or something. But I'm willing to try. But it's such a bad idea. And so is sexting you. F. <sighs> okay, that part I understand because anyone like anyone who takes nudes or gets any explicit pictures under the age of 18, like it ain't just like just for one person. Like anyone can spread those pictures when they're underage to everywhere on the internet. So by that technical standpoint, I understand. But when it comes to like dating or whatnot, it's just it's just stupid. But I will say this too, um, what I'm reading so far is Carson is not being a pedophile. I'm sorry, 19 and 17 is not pedophilia. But it is weird, the way he's approaching it is weird, because I feel like this dude doesn't know how to talk to girls to save his life, and it's fine, because a lot of people don't. But uh, for me, I wouldn't go out like this and tell the girl this, but at least he's got some balls, but dang. Yeah, I wouldn't reach out to a fan on Twitter either because I'm a YouTuber, but I mean, I wouldn't like do this to a fan, but it is what it is. And the nudes part, yes, I I fully agree. It's probably not a good idea to do that because, you know, people like this can go on Twitter or whatnot. And yeah, so yeah, I, I fully understand that. Okay, so the title of this video is, I'm not saying Carson's like a, you know, a cute little child, an innocent little human being in terms of like 100% clean on everything, but he is definitely innocent from being like labels, like these crazy labels, like being called a pedo, a groomer, like are you kidding me? Groomer for two year age difference is just stupid. And I'm sorry guys, those people on Twitter who are canceling this dude for such a for such a two-year age gap. And obviously, this girl, Sam, obviously, actually admitted that she apologized and said that she he is not a pedophile. And I'll read that to you in a second. And it's such a ridiculous situation. And obviously, there's way bigger and way worse channels and videos that get put on YouTube. It doesn't get half the attention this stupid crap does. So this girl, Sam, goes on Twitter the very next day after that tweet, right? And she goes, after watching Keeb's new video, I realized I was in the wrong for calling Kessa, Carson, Kelso, Carson a pedo. I used the word in the wrong context, and I would like to apologize. I'm sorry if I offended or hurt anyone using the word incorrectly. So she, <laughs> so even she realized that, oh my God, dude, I put a horrible label on him because obviously it's not pedophilia, but <laughs> it's just weird. And it's just one of those gray gray gaps. But literally, ever since the pyro situation, dude, people on Twitter has been throwing around groomer at everyone, weirdo, like pedo. Like, come on, dude. <laughs> 
like ever since that situation, they've just been throwing a bunch of words around Twitter. Like everyone's getting called like canceled for everything. I swear to God, like I bet you money, I'll get canceled for like the for even defending it to an extent. This this guy, <laughs> I'm not even like a huge fan of his, but I just I could just relate to it myself to an extent because I had some interesting experiences. I'm going to tell you about. The thing I'd like to ask you, Sam, personally, if you are watching this video, is if you were super concerned about him being such a groomer and all that, why would you all of a sudden say you used it out of context after it blows up? Because obviously, do you think it would have had the same effect if you caught him like, oh, he like took advantage of me or he or he just messaged me weirdly? Probably not because if he didn't, if she didn't use those labels on him, obviously this would have not blown up the way he did because he's a huge YouTuber. And there's another argument I will uh, debunk and say is people are saying, oh, there's a big power dynamic between the two. And to an extent, I can agree. But if Carson really liked this girl, and like I said, it's only a two year age difference, he could have easily like have her create a channel, right? She creates a channel because she loves Carson so much. And, you know, he could easily, like, give her a big giant shout out and boom. She would probably get a really good following easily because a lot of these followers and subscribers will do a lot of, do what a lot of these big YouTubers do and say, which is kind of scary, kind of like what happened on Twitter because of sheep on Twitter will find anyone to cancel. And yeah, it's kind of scary, but at the same time, she would have had at least probably a couple hundred thousand subscribers, loyal ones probably, and boom, power will be equal. Also, I'd like to say is Carson can't even buy a beer at this time. Neither could this chick, and let alone he couldn't probably buy a cigarette because the laws have switched to 21. And another thing is Carson comes from a state of Indiana where the age of consent is 16. And obviously, what that is... With the, it has that law comes into effect with like certain age gaps, like like 14 to 20, which is kind of odd. But since the age gap is so close, it'd be fine. And literally, it'd be socially accepted by society. Like I said, the only thing that probably wasn't smart was the nudes part, because that could be spread like wildfire, considering he's huge. But that's it. So for this video, I will say this, is that he is not a pedal, and yeah... And another thing I will explain from experience is I actually have talked to people with that are younger just as friends and stuff. They're like way younger than me, not super young, but like at my job, coworkers and friends. And literally, it's not that weird at all. Like it's like some of my coworkers are about four or five years. Shit, some of them are in high school. No, I would not DM them sexually, but dang, I would, it's really not that odd. That's all I'm going to say. And the people think like a 17 year old is weird for talking to a 19 year old. That's stupid. That's they're just talking like that's completely normal. All right, guys, that will conclude for today's video. There will be another part for Carson that like will not be on his side as much hardly. And I'll probably give it an unbiased situation point of view because I know a lot of these Twitter canceler and warriors do. They were going to come on my video and call me a pet or something. And obviously, I'm ready for it, guys. You want to fight? Like, come on. I'm ready for all the hate. I don't even care. And also, guys, congrats to uh, last year. I actually got my first YouTube check, so I'm really happy with that. But yeah, come on, guys. Let's fight. To all the newcomers, if you really like my video, make sure you know leave a like. And if you really enjoyed it, make sure to slap that subscribe button because I'll be putting more videos out finally. And yeah, I always have a content drought a little bit around December because for some reason I get freaking drawn out from the holidays and crap. And I, I run out of ideas sometimes. So yeah, expect some more videos. So I will see you guys later.